Salutations and good morrow everyone and welcome back to another grounded video where today we're going to be going in and we are going to be talking scarab beetles. You guys, I have been getting a lot of questions on how to take down the different bugs in the game or tips and tricks on how to take them down, what's the easiest way to do it, and I thought why not start off with one of the more annoying bugs in the game that you have to take out if you guys want twinkling shells and tier 8 and tier 9 weapons and that is scarab beetles if you guys want twinkling shells you're gonna need to go through and actually grind out these little guys and yes there is a backpack that has five shells in it already for you yes but i want to show you guys an easy way in order to fight them but before we do that i want to talk about using your scanner to your advantage your scanner what you can do is literally go through and get different spots where you mark all of the scarab beetle locations on the map onto your mini map and then you can go to those areas and start looking around in order to find them. This is helpful for all of you who don't know all the spawn locations right away, don't have them marked or anything like that, or it's your first time going out and finding them. If you haven't gotten any shining twinkling shells yet, but you want to get them in order to make, in order to scan them, just go get the backpack. I put that in another video though. It's right here on the wood pile though. You just climb up to the top and it's a backpack that's back in there and you can grab it. But nonetheless over there, let's talk exactly how I'm going to kill these things. Killing them, you could go through and use like a high level weapon and try to sneak up on them and that's kind of a pain in the butt. But if you want to take it my easy way or the easy way that some of my members have been showing me, <clears throat> thanks Pete, uh, let's go through and show you guys exactly what I'm talking about. So so the, the scarab beetles, they're like they're shiny green more or less and you'll be able to see them from a distance when you're walking up to them. You just kind of got to get close enough to spot them without scaring them. Because if you get too close to them, you scare them and they scurry away and hide underground. So there it is up there. See it shining like that? All right, so what I do, as soon as I see them, I start charging up my uh, staff, my fire staff, and I'll shoot it up there. And that AOE should have killed it. Nope. Didn't get it. So what you want to do is you just kind of want to keep shooting it. Hope that you get it. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. That was a little bit worse than it normally is. It got stuck on a rock so it couldn't burrow. But if you just sit here and hold up your staff and you get used to the distance that it can shoot, if you hit it with a fully charged blast, even on level 5 like my staff is, you're going to wipe out the scarab every single time in one. Scarabs are actually weak to... Uh, spicy damage. In fact, they're weak to all sorts of different kinds of damage. Fresh, salty, spicy, and sour. So all the staves and then a salt morning star, something like that, is going to make it so you do more damage against them. The only problem with that is the fact that you have to get close. That's why I'm saying use these. Use the staff. But use the fire staff because the, the sour staff, you have to aim so perfectly and these guys move so quickly that you can't really use that. And the ice staff, you got to get so close to them in order to use that one. So that's why I say use the fire staff. Now, could you just go ahead and use like some spicy arrows out of a black ox crossbow that's all the way upgraded? Yes, but once again, all the way upgraded. You're going to need jewels. Uh, so that's why I'm going with using a leveled up fire staff because you don't need a twinkling shell in order to make a fire staff. So... That's that. Now let's talk a little bit more about some easier areas on where you could go and find some scarabs that literally can't burrow. I've made this in a video before going over it, but because I'm making complete guides to scarabs now and really all bugs that I want to, you know, teach you guys about in the game. I mean, I'm not going to do complete guides to aphids or weevils or grubs and stuff like that. That's just silly, right? I mean, but... Because scarabs are so needed, I'm going to do scarabs and ladybirds. There's going to be all sorts of them. You guys are going to see them. Just, just hang in there. All right. Where we're running is underneath the shed. Okay, so here we are running right underneath the shed. Now, you guys will need to progress far enough in the story in order to get to this point, in order to come under here. But when you're really grinding out twinkling shells, you should be at this point in the game where you're far enough. Instead of running up that way, you want to run down to the left that's right over here. Keep on top of this cord as much as you can. It'll make it so you avoid most of the nasties that are over here. Run away from all the termites and stuff because they're just annoying and you don't want to fight them anyway. And what you want to do is you want to jump up right over here and you want to jump up on top of here, if I can, thank you, and then up here. Now, it's going to get hard to see up here, so I'm going to crank my gamma so it's going to make the game look a little bit worse, but then you guys will at least be able to see some stuff. All right, so now that gamma's officially cranked, I'm also going to go ahead and just grab my sour staff out so that way you guys can be able to see when I start doing other things. But... What you want to do is you want to run along this cord that's right here. Then you want to get to right about here. And if you have quickness tier 3 on, you could just run and jump this 
But if you don't have quickness tier three, you're gonna wanna use a tuft, float down onto this nail head, and then jump over here. That's the easier way to do it. Now, you also can run and jump right over here, and you'll land on this quarter that's right here, and inside of this tube is where we're actually looking. Now, I'm gonna use the sour staff in order to shoot down there to light up the way so you guys can see what I'm talking about. But as it goes down there, you guys will see that there's some dust mites, but there, right there, that's one of the scarabs, and it ended up killing one of them. So you guys could go through using the sour staff going down here and shoot down sour staff shots and let them go through and electrocute everything that's over here, killing all of the dust mites that come across your path because dust mites are evil and must be punished. But yeah, this little area in here, it has four of them that are under here. They're really easy to get, especially if you have yourself a fire staff. Then you can rake it really, really easy on yourself. Just charge up your blasts and shoot them down where there's a grouping of scarabs, and you'll be able to wipe them out no problem. You can see I just got two of them right there. Looks like that there's another dust mite that's right here. So I'm just going to go ahead and shoot my blow all the way down there. And also, if you guys have... A uh, Widow Wizard or a Wizard Cap on, it's going to make these Staff Blasts do even more damage. But, like I said, come in here. There's always four in here. They respawn every two to four in-game days, just depending. And why I say come up here and makes them so much easier, they literally cannot burrow into the pipe. So they can't do their burrowing thing. They can run away all they want to, but they can't burrow in this pipe. So you pretty much, no matter what, have an easy way to get a bunch of twinkling shells. Now I've killed a total of five scarabs and I've gotten 11 twinkling shells, which is absolutely fantastic for all of you guys who are out there trying to make all of your jewels. Now I think you can do this all the time. You can do this every two to four in-game days. It's gonna make it so you're that much more efficient. But guys, thank you all so much for watching this one. There's more bug guides that are coming, including roly polies, bombardier beetles, wolf spiders, infected wolf spiders, black widows, all sorts of different bugs in the game. I'm going to be going over and doing tips and tricks for them for you, but thank you everybody so much. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe, and as always, I'll see all of you guys in the next one.